Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be doing the My Nail Polish Collection tag video that was started by um, Callie Marissa. Um, one of you sweet people that subscribes here and follows me on Instagram sent me the video and I watched it and I thought, oh this seems really fun. So I decided to film it for myself and I'm really excited. I like the question she had on it um, and it was just really fun. I feel like a mess right now and I apologize. I just feel like my hair is like a crazy person hair i feel like that guy from seinfeld kramer is that his name where his hair is all crazy um i need a haircut so bad and i can't have one because all of the beauty shops where i live are closed um until the end till may 1st so if it goes past that i don't even know i'm gonna have to start wrapping up my hair or something because i just feel like very shaggy and then you guys are gonna die but um i broke these three nails on my um cindy hand and I actually have chip polish right now. I have not filed everything down to length. I have this length still long. Um, I'm going around with chip polish looking like I don't wash my booty and like I don't even care. Like I have no concern in the world. I've gone to work like this for two days. <laughs> two days, like who am I? What am I thinking? I don't even know. I'm just like, man, people think I don't wash my butt right now. My nails are all different lengths. It's out of control. But I think I'm going to keep my swatch hand long because I have a ton of swatching to do and I just prefer swatching on longer nails. So I'm going to be doing the different length thing and I don't even know how I feel about it. And I think that maybe the weirdness of that is why I just don't even care what's happening because um, I know it's just going to look off to me anyway. Um, but anyway, just so you guys know, I am very judgy pants about chipped nails and I have gone out of my house with chipped nails. So there you go. <laughs> so let's talk about the questions in the tag. It says, how many polishes do you own? Question number one. Um, so last time I did a count, I was maybe 200 away from 2000. Um, so I'm probably close. I'm closer to 2000 now than I was then. Um, I counted when I got my polish room all set up. So that's a lot. Um, I know it's a lot. If you guys think it's overconsumption and all that stuff, like save your judgment. I don't really <laughs> want to hear it, but um, that's just what happens. It exploded on me when I first got into collecting. I bought tons of things. Um, I have a really hard time purging and destashing. I've talked about that before. I have like a weird attachment to my stuff. I do it with clothes and all sorts of other things. So I need to do something soon though because it is getting a little overwhelming for me. Question two, what was the first nail polish you remember buying? Um, I have bought nail polish for a long time, like going back to a really long time. Um, but this is one of the oldest polishes in my collection. This is Simple Colors 24-7 original, the neon one. Um, I remember picking this up at Walgreens um, before my youngest son was born. I'm pretty sure I've had this since before I got married. Um, I really like the color on it. I've used quite a bit of this polish and when it's all gone, I will be sad. The formula on it is totally crappy, but, um, I just like the color and it's very nostalgic for me. So this is definitely one of my oldest ones. I also have some older, um, Rimmel, Rimmel ones from like years and years ago. I have the polish I wear for my wedding still, so that's been a while. I'm going on 17 years, um, but... I don't remember the first first one, but this one was one of the oldest ones I do have. Question three. What is the most recent nail polish you added to your collection? So I've been on a pretty strict no buy, um, but I remember picking this up at Walmart before everything kind of got shut down here. <laughs> so I think this is the last one I bought. Um, it's P2 Cosmetics um, Spring Flirt. As you can see, I got it for $1.50 at Walmart. Um, does anybody else here miss Walmart? Because man, I miss Walmart. I have not been to Walmart in probably a month. And I literally just want to go into Walmart and like touch everything and be like, yes, touching everything and like picking stuff up and shopping. My husband has been doing all of the grocery shopping for us. And um, I never thought I would say I miss grocery shopping, but I miss Walmart and I miss grocery shopping. Um, next question. What is your least favorite nail polish you own? That's kind of hard for me. I don't, I, I feel like I'm um, like a nail polish 
apologist like even if it's something i don't love i'll find something about it that i do love just to not desash it like i'll be like oh maybe if i try it like this i'll like it or oh maybe if i layer it this way i'll like it or maybe like the color will grow on me the next time i try it um so i don't know i'm kind of weird like that i can't think of anything like right off the top of my head that i don't enjoy um so that was kind of a weird question um next question what is your rarest nail polish um so i've been collecting nail polish for a really long time and i do have some really um rare and hard to find polishes so i was just going to share those with you guys um first one i have is sally hansen pacific blue original formula i have this and i have a backup bottle um, I actually bought this before I was into polish and like a polish collector. I just really liked the color. When Sally Hansen announced that they were going to discontinue it, I didn't even buy a backup then. Um, and then I went on vacation out of state and like just there in the Sally Hansen. Every time I go on vacation out of state, I have to look at the nail polish. Um, and there at a store, this was there and I was like, it's the original formula. So I bought a backup. I was like, the angels are singing. God's talking to me. Like buy the backup. So I did. Um... And so I have a backup of it, but this is amazing, you guys, so amazing. There's a couple of dupes to it. Um, I do have them. I have um, the Nails Ink one. I think it's Baker Street. And I have Essie's Butler Please, which the formula I do not like on that one. And supposedly Phoebe Moon has a dupe called In the Pacific. I don't have that polish, so I don't know. But um, if you were looking to get your hands on this, maybe look for some of those dupes and see if it kind of... Um, fulfills your need but this is a gorgeous polish you guys why sally hansen got rid of it i will never understand um next up i have a very very low bottle of opi's mermaids tears um i bought a bunch of polishes in a d stash and the lady just threw this in for me the fill line on it is super super low it's like way down here so i may get a couple of manis out of it but i was excited for it and then my friend Catalina actually sent me the simple colors dupe of this polish And it's called Open Seas from Simple Colors. So after the um, the OPI Pirates of the Caribbean collection came out, Simple Colors did like a dupe of pretty much that whole collection. Um, and this was the dupe for this polish. And they are extremely, ext they are pretty much dead on dupes. Um, so I'm super excited to have both of these. And thank you to Catalina for sending me this. She's very sweet with that. Um, in a D stash last year, I was able to pick up OPI's Teenage Dream. Um, this came out when I first, first got into polish collecting, and I don't think I really knew what limited edition meant. <laughs> I mean, I did, because I'm not, like, crazy, but I didn't understand, like, it would be gone and I would never find it. Like, that had never happened. And so I saw it, I thought it was pretty, and I was kind of like, eh, maybe I'll pick it up later. Well, later never came. So I actually picked this up in a D stash. Um, it wasn't super pricey. I was really happy to have it. I'm excited to try it at some point in time. Um, so another kind of hard to find polish there. Then in another D stash, I had some really good D stash look this year, you guys. I picked up China Glaze's Zombie Zest. This had been on my lemming list for a really, really long time. So I was super excited for that. And then I also have Super Cooper from Sinful Colors. Um, this was hard to find when the whole um, Stone Crystal Shimmer collection came out. My Walgreens had all the polishes except for this one. And a super sweet polish friend from Canada um, sent this over to me. So I thought that was super sweet. And um, so I have a, quite a few rare hard to finds. I'm sure I have some other ones I like didn't pop right into the top of my head. But... Um, I've been collecting for probably nine years and so I've managed to just like luck out on getting some and been able to find some and so I really do enjoy um, finding the hard to find polishes that is something I do like next question what is your most expensive nail polish um, so I have um, this polish this is also a rare polish but I figured I would talk about it during the most expensive because it is most expensive. But this is Yves Saint Laurent Piece Green. Um, I think I paid $28 for this polish plus shipping. So I saw this watch pictures of it and I was like, take my money, Yves Saint Laurent. And then when I saw the price, I was kind of like, because I had never bought like high-end nail polish before. So I was a little bit like, oh my gosh, like taken aback. Like, is this really happening? But then I wanted it so bad I didn't even care. 
um it's a beautiful polish you guys it has some really beautiful pink shimmer it's a gorgeous green i've worn it a few times and i really really like it i have no regrets whatsoever um i actually wanted to buy dior splash i think um diana from some call me coco and carolina have both shown it on their channel and it's so so pretty but i haven't bit the bullet on it yet i don't even know it's still available i there for a while i would like log on and see if i could still find it and i could um but i haven't done that in a while <laughs> Which brand do you own the most of? I definitely think I own the most sinful colors just based on um, how I have my polishes set up on my rack. So sinful colors is over here on this side of me and it takes up one, two, three, four, five, pretty much seven full shelves on my rack. Um, and sinful colors, I think, and then um, China Glaze will be the next. So I really loved sinful colors when they were in the drugstore i loved going and just picking stuff out i thought they had really fun collections when they were putting collections out um so i really do enjoy sinful colors i'm a little bit disappointed in what they're doing right now but that was like one of my first polish loves and it's very um like take me back in time and i loved the price point and i really loved a lot so hence why i have so many uh next question what color do you own the most of i feel like i own a little bit of everything um but i definitely think i have the most pinks or like tealy turquoise shades um i'm really really drawn to those so I would definitely say those would be like the most owned colors but i do own a little bit of everything and i feel like this year i really opened up to like trying new things and found new things that i really like um sort of like those terracotta colors there was a lot of things i would avoid because i thought it wouldn't look good on my skin tone and then i decided to give it a try and i was like this isn't so bad um but those are like my two faves um just because i feel like they're the most flattering to me and they're colors that make me happy Which nail polishes in your collection mean the most to you? Um, so I pulled a few things out that are sentimental to me. Um, my kids actually bought me these polishes a few years ago for Mother's Day. Um, and I really just like cherish that they actually went out and picked something up for me. They were in their teenage years. If any of you guys have teenagers, you know like they're just hard. <laughs> they're hard and they're, you know, they don't need you as much and they... They are pushing you away basically at that age you know they're trying to gain their independence and you aren't part of the picture with that and you go from having these kids that like want to be all over you and like want to show you all this love and affection to having kids that basically like are proving a point that they don't need you and it's like really hard so for them to go pick something out for me during this teenage time um was really really thoughtful their colors that they picked themselves that they thought i would enjoy they obviously know me well turquoise details um so I really, really do um, value these in my collection. My kids have also bought me some other polishes. Those were just the two I pulled. Um, they bought me a few other ones. And I, again, those are just very sentimental to me because they're a gift. Um, and then my husband bought me the whole Tonic Golden Girls collection. He knows I love Golden Girls. He knows I love Tonic. Um, so this one is Blanche, but I actually have all four of the polishes. I know they're really hard to find, and um, I just really love them. Like, anytime someone buys me something as a gift, it's, like, very sentimental to me. And then my husband bought me Kiko 531 from England. I've talked about this before, but some of you guys are new since I've talked about it. So my husband does a lot of international travel and um i had been wanting this polish but on on the us kiko site it was just gone and i was searching for it and searching for it so when he finally went to england i was like oh my gosh you gotta look for a kiko store so and then i was like if you find a kiko store i need polish 531 so he's in england with like all of these people that he works with and like people from england and military people and just all kinds of people and he's literally walking around trying to find me this polish and his coworkers literally think he's crazy um so there's a time difference i'm not sure what it is but he calls me at like two in the morning and he's like what the hell is that polish you wanted and i'm like oh hello and he's like what's the polish you want i'm at the kiko store and i was like five three one so he finds it and he brings it and it's such a pretty color you guys and like he's done that for me in other countries too like he bought me back a bunch of the l'oreal polishes from australia um last year for mother's day and I just think it's really sweet because I know, number one, he doesn't want to go do it. Number two, I know people, like, legit think he's crazy. And he still does it anyway. Like, sometimes if people think you're crazy, you're like, yeah, I'm not doing it. But he still goes. And um, 
like it just shows like a caring so i really appreciate that i get a lot of subscribers that like want to send me stuff and it's so so sweet you guys and when you guys do it like it really does just touch me like you have no idea um it's like an amazing perk and it just you guys are so sweet and like it really um it always makes my day and like it's just oh, i'm gonna start crying um like the fact that you guys are so kind to someone like you don't even really know like you don't know how much that means to me so anything that you guys send me is also like so so special to me and um polish friends are the best you guys like the polish community is so sweet and anytime you guys like reach out to me to offer me up a polish i'm just like oh my gosh um so those are all very sentimental to me as well i'm just i get very sentimentally attached to things um I have a lot of sentimental things that I have held on to from all kinds of different parts of my life and polish also has a lot of sentimental value to me. And last question, what is your go-to polish right now? So I don't have one polish specifically that is a go-to, but man, I am all about the freaking glitter crowleys. I cannot get enough. I just can't. Um, so these are a couple I'm thinking of possibly putting on next. This is Moonshine Manny's Winged Victory. Um, this was from Polish Pickup. I actually got this in a D-stash and I swatched it a while back and I thought it was really pretty and then I also have here Pep Nail Vibes Christmas in Hawaii um, I bought this I think during her Black Friday sale and it's just a really interesting glitter mix and I like the colors it has bright pink glitters you know I like pink glitters so I just really feel like Crowley glitters are just calling my name right now um, so I would I don't have a specific color that I want to wear over and over, but like Crowley finishes are what I'm all about right now. Um, so that is all the questions for this, um, my polish collection tag video. If you guys have a YouTube channel, um, I would love to see everybody's. So anybody who has a YouTube channel, I really hope that you guys will do this tag. Um, also if you want to do it on Instagram, I think that would be super cool. Tag me on it. I want to see everybody's answers. Um, I think this has like a lot of variety as people's for people's answers and a lot of fun so anybody who has a youtube channel please please do it i will go and watch i'm always interested in people's collections and just stories behind things and like chatty polish i like chatty polish videos i like doing swatch videos and all that stuff but i really like when people just like sit and chat polish so um please please do the video guys if you have any other questions um that you want to know about my polish collection you can put them down below and maybe i'll make another video answering those polish related questions um i think that would be fun during this time when we just you know want to watch more videos i know i'm watching a ton more videos than i usually do which i'm really really loving i'm sort of like binge watching a lot of people um so if you have any other questions maybe ask them down below and then when i get enough i'll compile and do another video or maybe like a paint your nails with me while i answer questions um so let me know what you guys think about that and that is it for this video if you guys liked it please make sure to click the like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and i hope you guys are staying safe i hope everybody is doing okay mentally and you know just taking time to take care of yourself i am going to go fix my um chipped manny situation wish me luck with two different lengths of nails on both hands because i don't know how long i can do it but i need this for swatching like i need it so cross your fingers for me pray for me send prayers like that i am going to be able to handle this because it's just so so everything i'm against <laughs> um but anyway that's it um you guys have a good night bye